All right, so the first place we're gonna start is, let's pretend that you are attending your honor year class reunion, whatever that would be for you. Some of you maybe haven't even gone to your 20 year yet, but that would be your next honor year. Some of you have gone to your 20 year, but your next honor year might be 25 or 30. Some of you might be 40, might be 50, but whatever that honor year is, I want you to pretend that you're going to that this weekend. But what's interesting about class reunions is whether you go or don't go, you are probably taking some type of stock in your life. So page 17 at the bottom where it says, this is Elizabeth Fitzpatrick. She's one of the four characters in this, in this book. And these four characters are going back to their 20-year class reunion. So this is right at the beginning of the book. And it ends after they've gone to their 30-year class reunion and what transpires over those 10 years. And I'll just give you a little bit of a hint. Two of them pursue significance, and two of them pursue more of what they already have because it's safer. Okay. But anyway, here's Elizabeth. I'm really looking forward to the class reunion because I have really done well for myself. I've earned a CPA right out of school. I got my dream job at an oil company in Denver. I got married at age 24 to my college sweetheart and have two kids, a son and a daughter. Just perfect, or is it? Let's pretend that you're a third party to your own eulogy this weekend. Not going to the class reunion anymore. You've passed away, but you're going to be listening to the eulogy. For you to have no regrets, what would they be saying about you? All right, so Darren Hardy also defines significance, which is below that. To know that our lives meant something, that we've had a positive impact on the lives of others, and only significance provides that. Success by itself cannot. And all I want is more, 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 right? Because it just doesn't have that lasting value. And I can be successful, but not necessarily significant. But if I'm truly significant, where I'm having an impact on others, then my belief is you automatically have the success. And if you could start with the second paragraph on page 101, and this is Sue Ellen. I really don't know what Kevin would have said, but he must be pleased looking down from heaven. The last few years, we talked a lot about leaving a legacy. Will future generations know we were even here? Would we make a difference to those coming after us? Not necessarily having a park named after us, but would this place be a better place because of something we did? Mm -hmm.